Parierego Sirili Herustati Doner Aysor Şat Heda Kırkir Verçin Norutyunu Aynı Vor Uremen Amerigan Haygagan Askayın Anvudan Kütyan İnstitüti Uremen Timi Verçeriz Hayastan Uğe Vorutyun İragan Atsuz Usu Çoğagan Uğe Vorutyun Vor der Yerek Amerigatsi Amerikan panagi, Hankistan göçkaç, Toshagaru general ner, Hantibum ner unetsan yer nayev tasavvan tutun iragan atsin. Good evening, my name is Apo Jabarian. Uh, the breaking news tonight is that a team of uh, experts uh, led by uh, founding chairman of the American Armenian National Security Institute, U.S. Army Major General retired Mark McCarley, Uh, made an important uh, trip to Armenia uh, and the team was uh, composed of uh, three retired U.S. Army uh, generals. Uh, so uh, uh, they were authorized to uh, pay a special visit to a border region in an undisclosed location in southern Armenia, in Sunik and other areas. So uh, let's watch this uh, video together and then we'll continue our conversation. Uremen Yerek Amerikatsi General Ner Haduk Tuldugutun Istatsadzein Hayastani Senk Başvarutyan Nakharutyan Regavarutenen Vor Masnakidagan Aytselutyun Iraganasinen Hayastani Haravı Suniki Şırçanı որ անշուշտ անհայտ շրջանը որովհետև իրավունքչունին դերեգացնելու թե ճշգրտ որտեղ այդ դեսանյութը պիտի հիմա միասին դիրենք ջեներալ մկարլի քդյու թել ար թիվի վիուերս աս թու ai know you cannot disclose you're in a, in a, an undisclosed location in southern Ar armenia Uh, could you tell me and our, view, uh, our TV viewers about your experience uh, uh, visiting border? Uh, uh, uh, it was a great opportunity, Apo, to uh, assess uh, the challenges that the Armenians face with the adversary that has so far caused death and destruction to uh, thousands of the Armenian people. So we came out here. We studied, we did some analyses, and we hope uh, what we've done uh, benefits Armenia in its quest to remain a sovereign nation. Uh, who do you have uh, uh, as part of your team? Yeah. To my left is Brigadier General Chris Spillman. He's an air defense uh, expert. And uh, to his left is John Kim, Major General John Kim. And uh, he was former commandant senior educational institution the army war college uh could you tell uh, tell me more about uh, general spillman and are you uh, all retired yes uh general spillman could you please share with our tv viewers about your experience so far in armenia it's been a very educational experience for me i've never been to armenia before But the big takeaway for me is the passion that the Armenian military has uh, for the defense of their nation and the professionalism that they've exhibited that I've witnessed uh, during this trip. Uh, General uh, Kim. Yeah, hi, uh, John Kim, and uh, really been an amazing trip. Also, my first time in Armenia, and I think one of the things that's very different from the United States Army we're normally we're playing the way game. We're in other countries usually doing things here. The Armenian military has to work so closely with the citizens and you don't have, there's no space, right? No matter what you do, you're impacting each other. So defending the homeland is so hard uh, when uh, your borders are not secure, it's dangerous. Uh, so I really appreciate the, the way the, the people we met, both civilian and military, were really all working together to try to help our meeting. Could you please tell our viewers, uh, share with our viewers uh, about your activities before your retirement? Uh, I was the commandant of the United States Army War College uh, and it's my last job and then a series of other jobs as a general officer and then 35 years in the Army total. Thank you. And General Spillman? I uh, commanded Army Air Defense Artillery Forces in the Middle East. Uh, 
before that was the Commandant of the Air Defense Artillery School, and I retired in 2019 after almost 38 years of active duty military service. And General McCarley? I spent most of my career in the Army as an Army logistician, commanded at all levels of the Army logistics uh, areas, and ended up as the Deputy Chief of Staff for TRADOC, the Army's Training and Doctrine Command. So far, uh, how many of similar educational missions have you conducted and led uh, as chairman, as founding chairman of the American Armenian National Security Institute? As chairman of ANSI, this is the third one. Uh, do you, uh, would you qualify this uh, third mission as a uh, moderate success or? Uh... Oh, it's an absolute success. I'm going to make it real quick. Absolute success. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Ice Batmagan, Ara Inspector Lesetsink, Desanu Team Mecha, General McCarlin, Punutakrets, Pavaganin, Gudraganabis, Hacho Ara Yev Ais Arakilutian and Taskin, Uremen Amerigan Haigagan, Askain and Vudankutian Institute, Humpe, Vorgu Gochvi, ANSI, AANSI, the American Armenian National Security Institute, Uremen Naev Tasavantutun Iraganasuts, Hayastani Bashmortan Nakararutian, uh, National Defense Research University Mecha. Uremen Naev Ais Kumpe Aitselutun Harkanki Durk Madutsets Hayot Segas Panutian Husha Hamaliri Mod Yev Gedesnink, Ispes Gedesnink Desanuti Mecha Amerigan Panagi Hankasam Gochvats Major General Mark McCarlin. Uh, uh, so, like we see in the video, uh, the three uh, American retired uh, generals uh, paid respect. They uh, visited the Armenian Genocide Monument and the museum. And in this video, we see uh, uh, General McCarley uh, presenting his prayers and placing a flower. And then next, we see uh, uh, General Spillman, uh, Chris Spillman, and then General John Kemp. Next, uh, the ANSI team paid a visit uh, to uh, Armenian Military Museum, <coughs> uh, where they were acquainted with uh, uh, photographs and uh, sand map of the first Arsakh Liberation War and other uh, historic uh, facts and uh, artifacts. Uh, and then uh, the ANSI team paid a visit and uh, said, uh, presented prayers at the medieval Armenian church, Saint. Sarkis Cathedral, and then after that, uh, in the next video, we will see uh, uh, General McCarley presenting two uh, tourniquet medic belts for Armenian, for wounded Armenian soldiers. Remen Hachur Desanuti Mecha Bidi Desnink, General McCarley, Gahansne Yergu Pajishkagan Kodi, Vor Navir Vazir. Uremen uh, Pan Armenian National uh, Emergency Committee Chairman Gome, Dr. Sarkis Mesobiani Gome, or NC Regavara, General McCarlin, Pohansets, Hayastani Mech Korzo, Husi Gamurch, Gazmer Rutan Nergaj Snerun, Voronsk Havor Arakilutune, Oktagar Allale Hayots Panagin. Uh, these two tourniquets are being donated by ANSI, the American Armenian National Security Institute uh, supporter and the chairman of Pan-Armenian National Emergency Committee, Dr. Sarkis Mesrobian, to uh, the representatives of uh, local uh, 
uh, organization that helps the Armenian army. And this is General McCarley, chairman of ANSI. This is Dr. Armin Shahinian. And this is Ardium Askar Avdalyan. So hopefully this will be the beginning of a long-standing relationship of mutual support. Good. Gentlemen, here you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, uh, we're, uh, uh, glad, I'm glad to uh, report to you that in the studio with me is uh, the founding chairman of the American Armenian National Security Institute, uh, U.S. Army Major General Retired Mark McCarley. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, being here, General McCarley. And uh, uh, could you please tell our viewers about the this most recent uh, mission, uh, what was the main purpose of the mission uh, to uh, uh, go to Armenia as part of uh, ANSI team? Yeah, Apo, it was uh, really my great honor to lead really our third educational mission to the Republic of Armenia. Uh, this mission uh, was the culmination of a tremendous amount of work and coordination between uh, our United States Department of Defense and its military attaché, and as well the Armenian Ministry of Defense and its uh, military attaché uh, in the United States. And we had the uh, opportunity, and we took that opportunity to lecture to the senior leadership of the Armenian army, those men and women attending the Republic of Armenia's National Defense Research University, which is the most senior military educational facility in the country. These soldiers attend this university as a stepping stone to promotion to general officers. And as you know, general officers have the responsibility and the obligation to lead their country's army in times of peace and most especially in times of crisis, both natural and in the case of Armenia, man-made calamities, an invasion, an incursion by uh, Azerbaijan, uh, support by Turkey, uh, and other hostile enemies in that part what I call one of the most volatile and dangerous regions in the entire world, and that's the South Caucasus. So we spent uh, a little over a week, and for approximately five days, I and my team, consisting of Major General John Kim, who is and was the former Commandant of the United States Army's senior military educational facility, the Army War College, and Brigadier General retired Chris Spillman, who served as the Commandant of the United States Army's Air Defense School College. And uh, we lectured and entered into very robust and uh, highly energetic conversations with the senior Armenian military officials, uh, soon to be, for many of them, generals within the Armenian army. And we discussed topics ranging from air defense, which is a matter of huge interest and concern uh, by the Armenian army because of the observations of the consequence of the uh, 2020 war. And we saw that, and that was a war in which the skies were dominated by Azeri drones. And so the colonels, 
I wanted to know how and what our opinion was as to tactics necessary to defeat uh, that Azeri uh, assault by armed drones. And then other topics uh, concern such things as uh, command of forces in combat, how you effectively organize your army into units of action where uh, the directives of the civilian government of Armenia are effectively uh, disseminated, uh, published to the Armenian senior general staff, and then find those orders find their way down to those soldiers of action in the field, on the border, especially the eastern border of Armenia, including the contested areas which we've seen in the renewal of the conflict just last summer, September of 2022, certainly the uh, devastating uh, conflict in uh, 2020, and even going back as far as the conflict commencing in 1988, 1989, and, and concluded in 1993, which was quite frankly the War of Independence and the containment of the Azeris by the Armenians. So it was a very, very important mission, and we are, once again, uh, from my way of thinking, I, uh, I think we made a contribution, uh, and again, from my way of thinking, I believe that those uh, colonels in attendance at the National Defense Research University gained an understanding of how America defends its borders, maintains its sovereignty, trains its soldiers, and uh, I think the lessons that we delivered might in fact have some benefit to assisting Armenia itself in withstanding any and all assaults or attacks uh, from any or all of its enemies in the next couple of years. Uh, Lusetsink Imatsank General McCarlien vor sa annakhatep yere buitmene ayn aromo vor yerek Amerikatsi generalner hankistian gochvaz miader nuin zamanak kitnvetsan hayaslan imej yev haduk arakelutyam usuts usutsogan arakelutyam hayaslan zamanetsin yev tasavantetsin ampok chapatme Hayastani Razmagan Hamasarane Ners, Uremen Bade Razmagan Kidutian Hamasarane Ners, Yev Einder Gisetsin Abaka General Neruhed, Vor Nergais Kantabed Neren, Irens Kidelik Nere, Ornagemar General Chris Spilman, Vor Hagotain Ujeru. Ramana Dari Yegadze, Yevnaev Hagotain Bashmanutian Hamasarani Regavari Yegadze, Amerigan Panageners, Inchbesnaev General John Kemmer, Amerigan Razmagan Hamasarani Ramana Dari Yegavari Yegadze, Isk General McCarlin, Yegadze, Amerigan Panagi Logistics Regavare, Inchbesnaev Training and doctrination, uremen regavari degal ramanadar. Uremen ais yerek ansnavorutuneru ansahman kideliknere yev masna kidatsat kideliknere iren gisetsin hayastani başmanutyan parser xavihed yevsa iarge ba şarnagutune. Uh, American Armenian National Security Institute, Arakelutian. Uh, this is uh, what General McCarley has shared with us is uh, uh, an exact uh, inspirational example uh, as to what ANSI is set out to accomplish. Uh, the American Armenian National Security Institute, just like it has promised from its uh, inception, uh, since its inception, is to empower Armenia and Artsakh uh, to consolidate 
their sovereignty, independence, and defense. Uh, Uraman, uh, American Armenian National Security Institute, uh, American Haigagan, Askain Amvudankutian Institute, Kilhavor uh, Arakelutun, Ainevor Zorakzi, Hayasnani Yev Arsahi, Inknish Hanutian, Bashmanutian, Yev Angahutian, Hazorasman Korzen Tassin. Like uh, uh, I have written uh, in ANSI magazine uh, and in USA Armenian Life uh, that Armenia and the Armenian nation reserve the, their birthright. They have the birthright to empower Armenia and Artsakh to diversify their uh, foreign alliances uh, in order to uh, support, assist the twin Armenian republics achieve a better, much better position in terms of national sovereignty, independence, and defense. Uh, the next question, uh, Mr. McCarley, is uh, could you please share with our TV viewers on uh, the, uh, briefly, on the previous two missions? Uh, as I said, Apo, uh, the previous two missions were steps that we had to take and did take to get to where we were last week or 10 days ago arriving in Yerevan to instruct at the National Defense Research University. Initially, back almost two years ago, uh, our first official ANSI mission uh, to Armenia it was really important for the team members at that time to gain the trust of senior members of the Armenian army and senior members of the Armenian uh, civilian government. And so we spent a good amount of time uh, meeting in offices uh, with those senior officials uh, and clarifying, describing and clarifying to those officials what our purpose was in coming to, Amer uh, coming to Armenia. And as we have consistently summarized on the multiple times I've been on your program, there are three really efforts on the part of ANSI, the American Armenian National Security Institute. Um, of course, first is education, and that is indeed what we did. Education both here in the United States, education for those who, for instance, view this program, uh, education of our civilian government officials and education as we delivered education in Armenia to those colonels uh, last week. So that's one. And number two is um, charitable works. As uh, at the conclusion of our first mission and having entered Artsakh, uh, uh, right, this was very soon after the conclusion of the 2020 war, and we saw the uh, horrific injuries uh, suffered by those Armenian and Artsakh soldiers, those valiant warriors, what we call the Lions of Artsakh in Armenia. And uh, we made it a commitment to raise enough money so that we could make a substantial contribution to the veterans uh, hospital facility in Stepanakirk, and we accomplished that objective and we're continuing to focus as well on providing assistance where assistance is needed for those veterans, for those soldiers of Artsakh in Armenia who have suffered injuries, are seeking to recover and looking forward hopefully to a fulfilling life uh, after their magnificent and heroic service uh, to Armenia and Artsakh. And the third is the development uh, over time, and we're getting much, much closer to the establishment and finalization of the ANSI Humanitarian Support Brigade. Again, repeating myself, not today, not tonight, but uh, over the many times I've talk to you, uh, you the viewers, on multiple TV programs, including uh, Mr. Jabarian's program. Uh, this is not a military organization at all. It's a, 
uh, group of American Armenians or Americans from all sorts of ethnicities who come together. We're looking for about 40. We have a good number already who have enlisted who have opted to spend two weeks in Armenia this coming summer uh, to gain training in such uh, areas as uh, uh, first aid, uh, mass casualty care, uh, construction, the uh, reconstruction of areas damaged by either man-made or unfortunately man-made meaning war uh, or natural disasters such as earthquakes, floods, or fires. And they train in other subjects uh, to include telecommunications because communications and the ability of a people in a country that is devastated by war or some sort of natural calamity, one of the more important things to get that country back into um, activity is uh, communications, both video, internet, and uh, telephone. And so we train these young people in those areas so that if something happens, uh, these, we're ultimately looking for about 500. We're starting at a much smaller number as we uh, gain traction in Armenia. That these young people, they don't necessarily have to be young people at all, but uh, of course we focus on those between uh, 18 and uh, 25. They commit to uh, deploy upon 96 hours notice to Armenia in times of its crisis and to exercise those skills that we've taught at the uh, training facility this summer. And these young people jump right into the action. It's an organization. It has a leadership. Uh, it has certification of skills. And these young people become real uh, valuable uh, assets uh, to Armenia. Uh, and for many of them, uh, their, uh, their homeland of their own homeland or the homeland of their parents or their grandparents, uh, many of whom were genocide victims. So that's what we're doing, those three lines of effort. Uh, thank you, General McCarley. As uh, many of our TV viewers recall, uh, and as General McCarley has shared with our TV viewers, uh, ANSI, the American Armenian National Security Institute, came to life as a result of uh, a major concern uh, coming about soon after the 44-day, uh, anti-Armenian 44-day uh, aggression uh, in uh, fall 2020 by Azerbaijan, Turkey, and ISIS. So uh, ANSI basically is... Uh, uh, a gift, not gift, but uh, a commitment from the American Armenian community and uh, fellow Americans uh, who uh, have affinity with Armenia and the Armenian heritage, like General McCarley. Uh, so uh, uh, this mission will continue. Uh, ANSI uh, is the byproduct of uh, extraordinary times for Armenia. As we know, in the last uh, uh, few years already, three years now, uh, Armenia is uh, going through extraordinary times in terms of geopolitical uh, uh, uh, shifting of uh, uh, balance of power and uh, uh, uh, earth-shattering political changes taking place in that part of the world, which is called basically the Armenian highland, which is also known as the South Caucasus and Eastern uh, Anatolia. Uh, Anatolia, by the way, is uh, a Greek word uh, describing the region east of Byzantine, which falls right uh, in the area, in the region where Eastern and Western Armenia are located. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, for those of you who would like to learn more about ANSI, uh, please call 818-241-5800 or send an email uh, to info at uh, or visit uh, www.aansi.org. Dot org.